What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And we about to talk about Cooper Cup's wife. Anna Cup is the GOAT. Let's give a round of applause to her. When I tell y'all what this woman did, everything I tell y'all about with intentional women, feminine women, supportive women, the type of women that you should talk to, that's Anna Cup. She's the GOAT. So I'm going to talk about that, and I'm also going to tell y'all why MGTOW, Red Pill, the Manosphere, whatever you want to call them cats, why they won't say nothing about this. You won't hear anything about this from any of them. And this is why I said make time feminism is the same thing. This is a perfect example of what I was talking about. So let's get straight into it. Cooper Cup went to Eastern Washington, okay? Now, I know that we got a lot of females who watch this channel, too. So those for those of y'all who might not understand, or those of you who don't watch sports, this is not a powerhouse school. This is not even the Division I school. You're not supposed to be able to go to Eastern Washington and then even make the NFL, okay? So Cooper Cup did something amazing by even making it pro. But what's worse is Cooper Cup, he didn't come from money. So he was trying to focus on football so he could be the Cooper Cup, the arguably probably should be league MVP star receiver that he is now, but he was struggling because he was trying to work. Okay, he had a landscaping gig he did. He was trying to go to school and focus on football at the same time. So in comes Anna, who said, you know what? She was dating Cooper Cup and she said, I believe in your dream to play football so much that she transferred from her school to Cooper Cup school and she gave up 52 credits to do it. So she pushed herself back a whole year and a half on when she would have graduated by going to Eastern Washington to support Cooper Cup, y'all. And not only did she do that, she said, baby, focus on school and focus on football. I'm going to work full time. Sis was working at a restaurant. Stuffing meals in the styrofoam cups. Y'all know how people treat restaurant workers. Getting told she broke, getting told this, getting told that. A hole in the wall restaurant, full time, overtime to support her and Cooper Cup so he could focus on the game of football. She even said, I don't know how I did it. I don't even know how I did it. And guess what happened? Cooper Cup did just that. He focused on the game of football. He took advantage of the opportunity that his wife gave him by believing in him. And now we see Cooper Cup, arguably the best receiver in the league, headed to the Super Bowl as a potential Super Bowl champion. He's probably going to at least be Offensive Player of the Year this year. And guess what, guys? None of that happens without Anna Cup. And guess what Anna Cup's doing now? Chilling. She's good. Got it made in the sun. Everything is great. She get to watch her man be great and know she had a part in that, okay? There's a lesson in that for women and men. The lesson for men, like I said, this is the type of woman you should be with. When you know your purpose, when you found your purpose, she pours into your poor purpose. This is what support is. I know some of y'all is like, oh, Alex, you said women don't build. She didn't build. Okay, she supported. She essentially said, hey, what do you got going on over there? She see him laying bricks, right? He laying bricks. She like, what do you got going on over there? He's like, I'm trying to build my way to the NFL, this football thing. And she's seeing him working hard, laying bricks, laying bricks, and he's laying bricks faster than everybody else. And she goes, you know what? If I can let him just focus on laying these bricks and he doesn't have to stop to do this landscaping, I think he can actually build this skyscraper, a.k.a. the NFL. So guess what she did? She said, hey, come on, baby. I'm going to lay bricks with you because I'm going to put in the financial work. I'm not going to compete with you, which women do nowadays all the time. They want to be the breadwinners and they want to compete with their men. She didn't do that. She said, I'm going to support you. She didn't build. She supported his dream. She supported his passion. She supported his purpose. And she did it early. She didn't do what most girls do and wait until he was at the finish line and then decide to support him. She did it early. She believed in the vision before it came to fruition. Which is why I tell women all the time, if you're going to wait until a man becoming a 10%, he can sleep with anyone he wants and his likelihood to settle down is slow because he knows he can sleep with anyone he wants. If Cooper Cup was single right now, it would be hard to pick a wife. Who wouldn't sleep with Cooper Cup? Who? But it was easy when he was in Eastern Washington and he was a nobody. And Anna was the only one who believed in him. That's how you win a man. And fellas, that's a real woman. Now, let's talk about these red pill MGTOW clowns. Guys, we're men. I would go as far as to say at least 90%, at the bare minimum, 80% of men watch sports, okay? This story was reported on ESPN. So if you're going to tell me MGTOW and Red Pill isn't the same as feminism, it's not an extremist group that sensationalizes only the negative and the opposite sex, why the hell haven't they said anything about this? 
I'll wait. I'll wait. It's no way they didn't hear about this. It's, it was on ESPN. I purposely waited a week to even mention this because I wanted to see if any Red Pill, MGTOW, Man and Spirit channels were going to say anything about this. And guess what? They didn't. But they'll go on Instagram and find a TikTok where a girl joking about sucking D for cash and say, look how these women are acting. They'll go on TikTok and see a girl joking about being a sugar baby. Oh, look how these girls are acting. They'll find anything negative and blow it up and tell you these are women. This is why you should walk away. This is why you should be red pill. And that's why I don't respect the red pill. That's why I don't respect the manosphere. Off the top of my head, the only balanced person in the manosphere that I can even think of, just off the top of my head, is probably Abba and Preach and Angry Man. Just off the top of my head, those are the only two people in the manosphere who are balanced, who are extremist women haters. The rest of these dudes, they clowns, man. And that's why when people come to my section and they say, welcome to the Manosphere, you know, I'm happy you're in my sphere. Listen, I appreciate the support. I am not Manosphere. I am not Manosphere. I don't identify with Manosphere. I think those dudes are losers. I think they're the exact same as feminists who I also can't stand fighting a fake ass patriarchy in 2022. Women have the exact same rights as men. There should be no feminists in 2022. None. For what? For what? <laughs> They're just extremists at this point. And this is what I'm talking about. This proves it. Because like I said, the vast majority of your favorite Red Pill MGTOW coaches, they watch sports. They talk about sports. So they seen this story and they purposely chose not to report it because it didn't fit their narrative. Don't tell me you're outside the matrix and you're doing one-sided reporting. You're not outside the matrix if you think all women are bad, all women are evil. You're not outside the matrix. You're in the matrix taking advantage of incels, taking advantage of the true simps, and convincing them that there's no hope, and telling them half-hearted game that's not going to work, that, like I told y'all before, only works on hoes to keep them in a cycle where they keep paying you for advice, trying to get out of the hole that they don't realize you're never going to get them out of because if they ever got girls, if they ever understood the benefit of women and how to cultivate a woman and get her to act towards them like Anna Cup acts towards Cooper, you would have no need for your Red Pill MGTOW coach, and they wouldn't be able to make money. So they have to keep you guys believing that there's no good women. They have to keep you guys believing that all women are bad. Meanwhile, stuff is so cold out here with Honor Lex buying her Dodge Chargers. AMS driving people around the G-Wagons. MGTOW coaches out here are seeking arraignments, paying college students tuition, but telling you, you take a girl on a date, you would sip. Don't put me in that. Don't put me in no MGTOW red pill manosphere, okay? I had my podcast for three years before I even came to YouTube. I'm me. I ain't me, so who are you? I'm not in the matrix. When women fuck up, I call women on they fuck ups. When men fuck up, I call men on they fuck ups. We balanced over here, we're not one-sided. You won't ever see a woman do something great and I don't say anything about it. And I don't wanna hear, oh, that's just, ha that's just one scenario. That's just one scenario. No, 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 no. Because Ryan Coogler's wife brought him final draft before he became a world famous director. Kevin Hart's wife supported him on the road in his comedy shows before he became Kevin Hart. LL Cool J's wife supported him a back in high school before he became LL Cool J. So this is not an outlier. It happens all the time. But if you suck yourself into a community where they only sensationalize the negative, you won't hear that. Just like if you suck yourself into feminism, you won't hear nothing good about men. You'll hate them. It's one-tided extremistness, and it will get you nowhere positive. So no, I'm not a part of no manosphere. I'm not a part of no big time. I'm not a part of no red pill. If anything, I'm here to give dudes an outlet outside of that. I'm here to give dudes true balance. It's not that everything that they say is wrong. Everything that anyone says isn't wrong. Everything that feminists say isn't wrong. But it's that they're not truly unbiased, and they will not acknowledge the other side. And this proves it because I know for a fact they've seen this story. And they're not bringing it up because they don't want you guys to have hope. They don't want you guys to get in a relationship. They want y'all to stay lonely, stay desperate, stay by yourself so they can be your source of motivation, a.k.a. they can get your money. And I can't respect that. I can't respect that. So I don't want to be put in that bubble. I don't want to be put in that bubble. I'm just putting that out there just so that people know. But I'm a cup is the GOAT. Give her all praises. Ladies, that's what you should be following. Ladies, that's how y'all should be getting down. That's how you do things. That's how you get paid off in the end. 
I'm Alex and I'm out. Peace.